Hi everyone, it's Jenny here again. Welcome to module one of Prep Skills. This is the very first module for the course, so obviously it's very important to make a really solid start. Look, the good news about this module is that there's really nothing hard about it. It's more about helping you to find your feet, settle in, uh, and feel a lot more confident about what you're doing here and how to find your way around. So of course, the place to go to check out any of the modules is the hard copy of your study guide and I hope that you have secured your copy already. Now if you have had a look at module one you will, will have seen that there are three parts to it. So basically at the beginning we just introduce you to prep skills for this particular subject. Then part B is more of a general introduction to all of steps so it's a bit like a continuation of orientation in a way. We help you find your way around the online sites, um, the key sites that you need to know about, some of the systems that you need to know about and procedures, the key terminology that we use just so it's not such a mystery and you'll find that that's going to be really helpful to you. Uh, and the third part of the module is more about self-reflection uh, asking you to think about what it is that you want to get out of this experience and also just giving you a chance to think about what you already bring to the university environment because as adult learners you do already have skills and background knowledge that are really valued here. So module one is not a module for you to skim through and try and get through really quickly. It's one where you do have to go through very carefully uh, if you do that and if you complete all of the activities then you are going to be feeling a lot more confident about uh, the journey ahead. So let's take a quick peek on Moodle and hopefully you're getting very familiar with the sites now and already starting to know your way around. So I'm hoping that you've already looked at the getting started video. You'll find that one here under the getting started tab. You'll see there's a link there to that particular video. Uh, so you really do need to watch that one before you look at this one. Um, now what I'm mo mostly going to be doing in this video is taking you through, through some of the key features of the Moodle site. Now remember this is not your main point of entry for each of the modules. You should be working through the study guide but what you find on Moodle is going to help support your learning so there will be additional resources that are going to help you uh, and then of course you do need to go to this site for particular aspects of your course. For example in the information block you'll find the course profile as I've already discussed with you. Obviously discussion forums are to be found on Moodle and we talked about that in the getting started video. Now assessment, uh, the overview for assessment is in your course profile but there's more detail at each of these links here. This is where you go to find out more about the quizzes. It's also where you go to complete the quizzes uh, and then those two written pieces of assessment as well. Now remember to find out where all of these things, when all of these things are due, you should be going to your course profile because that sets out the weekly schedule. Now just a heads up that quiz one is due at the end of week two, but the good news is it's all about module one. So once you've completed module one, you can actually complete the first quiz. Right. Now, the other good news is that you start building learning portfolio A right from the start as well. So that's not due until the end of week four, but even by the end of this week or this module, you'll be able to start um, filling out part of that. So that's, uh, that's an, another heads up for you. So you can see that there are some things that are due fairly early and that's because it's really important in this particular subject that you get going quickly uh, because it is going to help you settle in to all your subjects, not just this particular subject. Now we talked about the study materials before in the getting started video, that's the, the block there. Now the support block is important, that's where you can go to uh, obtain help with anything to do with technology, IT help, that's the link there, there's the library link if you haven't seen it already. Now this particular link 
is uh, where you will go if for any reason you think you might need more time for any of your assessment pieces. So there, this is, there's a link to that on each of your Moodle sites for each of your courses. Uh, so that's where you will go if you would like to uh, request an extension. All right, so let's just have a quick look within module one. So you'll see that there's one module per week. Uh, so that's a really easy way of knowing if you're keeping up. So at the end of week one, you should be finished module one. Now they, the content is set out in a fairly similar way uh, on prep skills for each module. Now you'll see that you can access an online version of module one from the study guide there. And that's as a backup and especially if you don't have your resources right at the start of term it's good to have that backup. Now you'll see that there's a place where you can go to find videos so there are the overview videos like this one. Uh, you'll also see that there are links to lecture recordings. Now these um, lectures happen progressively through the term and this is a really great way for you to feel connected especially if you're a distance student it's um, a really terrific way of feeling like you're part of uh, a bigger learning community. In term three we'll have those lecture recordings for you up right from the start because that's only available in distance mode. Now there are some links here to the Cottrell textbook. This one here which hopefully you have secured a copy of. Now we do put these pages here just in case there are any problems or someone's enrolled late or whatever. Um, so the relevant pages just for the first couple of modules are available on Moodle but the expectation is that you will be buying that textbook. Now we do provide resources here uh, on Moodle that relate, relate directly to your study guide activities. The very first activity that you do is all about finding online information. So there's a checklist there for you to download uh, and if you go through each of those points you'll see that you're directed to a certain place online or you might be asked to provide definitions and so on. So that's just a really good way to make sure that you're at home in, in that online environment and it's going to hopefully answer a lot of your questions. Now to help you with that you might like to check out these series of videos here that uh, Helen Holden has produced with the help of some of her students so you get the student perspective when we take you online. Uh, Helen is the course coordinator sometimes in prep skills and you will see her friendly face pop up in some of, some of the videos as we go along. Now I just wanted to point out the contract that relates to activity 1.9 and what we want you to do is just to give some thought as to what your expectations are of steps, of yourself, um, what you want to get out of this experience. So if you download that particular document you can write on it uh, and hand it in to your lecturer, you can type on it whatever suits you. As an on-campus student you can give that to your lecturer uh, and even if you're a distance student it would be a really good idea if you were to email that off to your support lecturer. Uh, nice way to introduce yourself and they would really love to hear from you. Alrighty so there are you might find that there are other resources there of interest that relate to the topic at hand. Uh, there's just a a brief reference to assessment here just to remind you because it's the first module about some of the things that you need to be aware of and when they're due. Now the discussion forums that we found in that discussion forum block earlier are duplicated here. Um, so the ones that appear in the actual block, if I go right back, right back up here, sorry if that makes you a bit seasick. So those will be the ones that pertain to the relevant week, the, re the relevant module. But you can always come back to those discussion forums um, within the module itself. And the other one there to point out to you is my first week in steps. So when you've finished module one, finished your first week in steps, we'd love to hear your thoughts about how you're going. Now the only other thing I wanted to point out is this checklist here. 
uh, you'll see that that's a live link and if you click on that you'll get a Word document and it will list all the things that you should have done by the end of week one. So you just tick them off and it's a good feeling to know that you're keeping up and students do tend to fi find those really useful. There's a checklist for each of your modules and you'll only find that on the Moodle site. So hopefully you're getting the idea of how Moodle works and how it supports your learning through your study guide. So look, it is a lot to take in all at once, uh, but if you go through module one really carefully, it, it is going to answer a lot of your questions and hopefully get you off to a, a really solid, confident start. So look, all the very best with module one and I hope you really enjoy your first week in steps. Bye for now.